I'm Jason, and this is why I think physical games will never really go away. Hey guys, welcome to my brand new vlog slash new show, Lapine Gate. This is where you can hear my unbiased, un whatever, unedited, unfiltered opinion. Oh my god, an opinion! I finally have one! So a lot of the content I do here on Nintendo Enthusiasts and everywhere else is always very scripted, edited, some effects in there sometimes, but I never really had a voice other than a podcast to share some ideas. But on the podcast, you have to watch an hour's worth of content. You have to watch Sean half the time. So here you can just get a nice short sample of me sharing my really honest thoughts with you on various topics Nintendo related. And today I want to talk to you about physical games and why I think we're never going to see them really go away. So of course we're seeing more and more online uh, more games going digital. You're getting more benefits if you get your digital games. I love digital games. I have Steam. I got a ton of games on Steam. I love that you know you can often find a lot of good games on sale. You've got your whole library accessible right there. I've got a ton of games on my Wii U as well, which are all digital. Uh, you can preload them so you can start playing with them. You can start playing your games right upon release. You don't have to drive anywhere. You don't have to go anywhere. You don't have to wait in the mail to get your physical copy of the game. I think we can all agree digital games are great. But we live in a world where I think you're, we're always going to have physical games standing right alongside digital games. And that was really highlighted for me when yesterday I got my hands on this. Now I'm not a huge collector. As you can see, my, back, my background's pretty empty. I don't have that many games to show. Uh, I'm not a huge collector. I think in total physical games I have maybe, I don't know, 50 or something. Uh, but Su New Super Luigi U is a game I've been looking to get physically for a few years. When it first came out, it was 30 bucks here in Canada. And I was like, oh, okay, I don't know, that game will be around. I didn't see how special it was. Even though it was freaking green, has the whole Luigi 30th year anniversary, pretty much showing it's a limited run or a limited print run, right? So anyway, I don't buy the game. A few months go by, can't find it in stores anywhere. And of course, that's when I want it more because now I can't get it. So everywhere I look, it's now $60, $70, which makes me want it even more because now it looks even more valuable. Anyway, someone finally got this game for me yesterday, so my search was over. It's fun, but it got me thinking about physical games and its importance because also last, uh, last week, I went to buy Life is Strange. It was on sale on the Xbox store, whatever they call it, over in Xbox World. And it was $10. Great price for Life is Strange from what I hear, still haven't played it. But then I go to my local game store, see it there for $20, $10 more, but now I get a disc and uh, a hard copy, I get the whole box and everything. And that made me realize, you know what, I would pay any day $10 more to get any game that I'm interested in in a physical copy. And that really got me thinking because we're seeing more and more um, incentives to get your games digitally. I've already listed a ton at the beginning of this, but oftentimes you pay $10, $15 more, whatever, you get like the deluxe edition, which comes with all these extra skins and extra cosmetics in the game. It doesn't change your gameplay at all. It just gives you a few tweaks to your character, whatever. And I was just thinking, comparing the two between physical and in-game cosmetics, any day physical wins at $10 more. I think I'd even pay $20 more just to get the physical over cosmetic skins that don't change your experience. So yeah, based on that, it got me thinking that I will never stop buying physical, even though I do enjoy having my online library and ton of games online. If that game is available physically, yeah, I'm gonna go pick that up. Another example of why I'm always attracted more to physical, recently, uh, Renegade Kid announced that Zeo Drifter would be getting a physical copy on the PS4 and PS Vita. And I don't have a PS4 yet, but it, I just wanna get the game because I wanna have something to hold it. Like Zeo Drifter is a good game, it's an indie game. It's good, and now you can get a physical disc and that's the only place I can get a disc, so that's really exciting. And in the case of, again, Shovel Knight, which came out, another indie game that came out with a physical copy, I got that game when it first came out. Great game, loved it, played it, but now that there's a physical release, I still haven't gotten it, but every time I walk by a store, God, that urge to buy that physical disc is so strong. So strong, I just... I got the Amiibo though, I got that instead. I think it's also important to compare that, yeah, physical is important to me because I'm essentially a gamer, I love games, I have attachments to franchises and to my games. If you look at my movie collection, for example, I'm not that big into um, collecting movies. I'll watch a movie once if it's good, two, three times maybe, but I own very few DVDs or Blu-rays. In fact, I do not enjoy having that. I used to buy a ton and I got rid of all of them because it just takes up so much space. But my gaming collection, that's very different. I look at it, I love it, I drool over it. Um, so, you know, a different world. But one thing I do admire that they do in the film industry that I would love to see brought over into the game industry is if you could buy both. Now I do say both because while I love my physical games, there are some online, there are some advantages to getting the online version, which is, 
if a disaster happens and you lose all your possessions, or let's even say someone breaks into your house and steals your console, you have just lost all of your games if, it's, if you have physical only. But let's say you just have everything in the cloud, it's all connected to your account, you just call in support. I've never had to do this, so I don't know if it's actually this easy. And you just tell them, hey, I lost my console, can I reconnect my whole account to this new console I just bought? And bam, all your games are right there. And that is, that's so amazing because you've just put so much insurance on your whole game collection and you, like, that is something that digital only will always win over physical. But now, what if we could get the both, best of both worlds? Like in the movie industry, oftentimes if you buy a Blu-ray now, you get the Blu-ray disc, you get the DVD disc, and you get a digital code to watch it on any device you want. I would love to see the gaming industry do something similar where you can pay a little bit more than both physical or digital, and you can get the disc, the hard copy, and you can get a digital code. Now, are they gonna wanna do that? I don't think so, because they're trying to push more and more sales, and a lot of people would just buy the disc and give the code to their friends, so you'd be pretty much cutting your sales in half. But, I mean, we're seeing that too a little bit on the Nintendo platform between the 3DS and the Wii U, where more and more indie games, and even some first-party titles, if you buy the Wii U version, you can get the 3DS version for free. You get the, the cross, uh, what's it called? Cross function, cross buy, cross buy. So if you buy it on one platform, it's available to you on the other. And I've heard a lot of success stories from indie developers saying it's not actually killing their sales. So maybe, it's not all that bad, and maybe we can live in a world where we have both physical and digital. So what's your preference? Do you prefer physical copies, digital copies? Would you pay a little bit more to get a bundle that has both? Do you think that would cannibalize sales? Let me know in the comments below, because hey, what do I know? Lapine gate that shit.